I think that if we take the case of the Great Pyramid of Giza, which is the last surviving wonder of the ancient world and probably the most famous monument on, on Earth, I think the problem is that archaeology doesn't allow that monument to speak for itself. Why did it need to be aligned to within three sixtieths of a single degree of true north? I mean, really, it can be a fantastic, grandiose tomb, and it can be five degrees off true north and nobody will notice. But to get it within three sixtieths of a degree of true north requires extraordinary effort. Why does the Great Pyramid have a kind of scale model of the Earth built into it? Uh, if you take the height of the Great Pyramid and multiply it by 43,200, you get the polar radius of the Earth. But also it incorporates on a, on a scale of 1 to 43,200 the key dimensions of the Earth, the polar radius and the equatorial circumference.